Hello friends, today I'm going to talk to you about gas hydrates. So the learning outcomes would be to firstly define gas hydrates, describe its working principles, identify its importance, identify the advantages and disadvantages of using these gas hydrates, and to list out several applications as well. So basically, what are gas hydrates? Gas hydrates are naturally occurring crystalline ice-like substances composed of gas molecules held in a cage-like structure. The formation and stability in the, the subsurface of these structures are constrained by a relatively narrow range of high pressure and low temperature and depends on the influx of free gas and the amount of gas dissolved in the pore fluid. Hydrates are the concentrated form of natural gas. It's estimated that a significant part of the Earth's fossil fuel is stored as gas hydrates. So, how, do, how does this gas hydrates form? So basically, as mentioned, gas hydrates are non-stoichiometric crystalline solids comprised of hydrocarbon gases trapped within the cavities of a rigid cage-like lattice of water molecules. These compounds contain clusters of gas-trapping polyhedra formed by pentagonally and hexagonally arranged hydrogen-bonded water molecules. Van der Waals interaction between the trapped gas molecules and the surrounding water cage walls stabilize and support the individual polyhedra. Therefore, this will form the hydrate, hydrate lattice and, restrict, and restricts the translational motion of the gas molecule. So, where can you find these gas hydrates? Gas hydrates form in high pressure, low temperature environments where sufficient gas and water are present. The methane hydrate formation requirements restrict the occurrence of natural gas hydrates to two types of geologic locations. Firstly, will be under the permafrost in the polar continental shelves and the other would be in the sediment beneath the ocean floor. So, these are the regions in permafrost and oceanic sed sediment where the pressure and temperature conditions and the concentration of methane gas are within the hydrate formation and stability zone. These curves as seen in the diagram are based on the pressure and temperature phase equilibrium data and correspond with the reflection seismic data collected in these environments. The origin of methane concentrated in naturally occurring hydrates is either through microbial which is generated by anaerobic decomposition of organic matter and thermogenic which is generated by thermal decomposition of organic matter. So, some fun facts about these gas hydrates are that when the hydrates are heated or depressurized, they become unstable and dissociate into water and natural gas. And based on the bulk density of SI methane hydrates and assuming full occupancy occupancy of the cavities, one meter cube of methane hydrate contains about 170 meter cube of methane gas at standard temperature and pressure. That's quite a lot. So now I'm moving on to the advantages. So some good things about these gas hydrates are the fact that they can be found in greater abundance than natural gas and the fact that it is easy to release this gas from their hydrate structure just by subjecting your gas hydrates to high temperature and low pressure. And by doing so, it does not actually produce much of the harmful products, such as water. Another advantage would be that, for example, methane hydrate, a type of gas hydrate, actually contains more energy than oil, coal and gas put together. This would actually reduce the need for depleting energy if we were to tap into these resources. So now moving on to the disadvantages of using gas hydrates. These gas hydrates actually exist in hostile environments such as deep oceans and permafrost regions of the Arctic. This makes it hard to extract, which is a hassle for people who want to tap onto these resources. Another disadvantage would be the fact that during extraction, it will cause the destabilization of the seabed due to the fact that it, the seafloor may tend to collapse inside as the gas hydrates are actually a supporting pillar in this seabed. Another disadvantage would be the fact that these gas hydrates are actually dispersed over large areas, making it hard to find uh, a cost-effective method to recover these gas hydrates. Another disadvantage would be the fact that these gas hydrates actually contain methane gas, which is a very dangerous gas to the environment as it's able to trap more heat as well as dissipate them faster than carbon dioxide. Furthermore, little knowledge of the formation and the concentration of these gas hydrates has been found. Another point to take note would be the fact that these gas hydrates are non-renewable energy sources as they form naturally and would take time to form back if they are being tapped onto. 
Alright, so now moving on to the applications portion. This gas hydrates actually can be used for natural gas productions. As the methane gas extracted can be used for industrial purposes. And the fact that storing these natural gases into these gas hydrates can actually be utilized for transportation purposes. Which makes this gas hydrate actually a potentially vast energy source. However, a problem about when it comes to this kind of applications is the fact that it's hard to extrain this methane gas from its hydrate structure. Another case where gas hydrates can be utilized is through gas separation. Mainly speaking, carbon dioxide sequestration. The theory behind this is the fact that a gas mixture containing one component that is able to form your gas hydrate, let's say methane gas, can be used for separation by actually forming your gas hydrate using the said component, your methane gas. The current progress for this is the fact that there's a 15 dollar million project supported by Fawcett Energy to demonstrate this, this process. Another application for gas hydrates would be for water treatment. During oil production, hazardous water may be produced. Let's say because of the fact that during your oil production, hazardous gas may be emitted out and the water actually absorbs these gases. So therefore, by treating this water with gas hydrates, it can be used for agricultural purposes as well as it can be used for a portable source. So, to conclude everything and to sum up what has been presented so far, gas hydrates are a very crucial potential future energy source as it contains a large volume of methane. However, there are many disadvantages that outweigh the advantages, such as it is able to influence the global climate change, it is able to affect the sediment strength, and is only stable under specific pressure and temperature conditions. There can also be unwanted hydrates that can clog up in your petroleum pipeline and equipments, preventing optimum production of your hydrocarbons. So that is all. Thank you, and I hope that you have a greater understanding about these gas hydrates. Bye-bye.